जय श्री गुरुदेव गुड मॉर्निंग डेयर चिल्ड्रन आई होप यू आर ऑल सेफ बाय स्टेइंग इन द होम डेयर चिल्ड्रन इन द लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट द द डेरिवेशन ऑफ द डायरेक्ट वेरिएशन एंड द इनवर्स वेरिएशन फॉर्मूलास ओके सो इन दिस क्लास वी शुड बी लर्न अबाउट द इट्स एप्लीकेशंस एंड द एग्जांपल्स एंड एक्सरसाइज प्रॉब्लम्स आर आल्सो एस सो इन द फर्स्ट वन व्हाट आर गिवन दैट इज एस सो वंस आर टू बी ऑब्जर्व दैट हियर इज Rahul drives his car 140 kilometers in a three and a half hours. Okay, Rahul is a one person. He can be drive that is 140 kilometers in a three and a half hours. Okay, so then find the number of kilometers he drives in a one hour. Yes, so for three and a half hours is 140 kilometers he drives means is for one hour how many kilometers will be drive? Means is now first is that the given problem first you have to understand that is the given situation is belongs to the direct variation or inverse variation. Is that understood? So now here is time and the distance. Time and distance is always be is a direct variation only. Is that understood? Because of three and a half kilometers, sir, three and a half hours is one forty kilometers is the moving means is one hour will become is. Less only we should get. Means is a when it is a decrease in the time will become say is the distance also can be decreased. Means is they are the direct variation. Is that understood? So now I am taking as a solution for that is that is distance, distance and time. Okay, distance I am taking as a x. And time I am taking as a y. So in that case, first one is the distance. How much you put there? Here is 140 kilometers is x. So 140 kilometers is x y. And time is how much you put there for the days? 3 and a half hours. Okay. So 3 and a half hours is y. Is yes, that understood? So then after this, find the number of kilometers. Means is x to is question mark in the days x. So then. For the days, how much time is taking the days? One hour time. Okay, so one hour time in the days by two. Is that clear? Right? So then distance and time is so distance and time are direct variation, direct proportion. Yes. So when you are getting as a direct proportion is what is the formula for that is children? That is x one y two is equal to x two y one. Yes, sir. Yes, children. So then x one y two how much you are having children? That is one forty into y two y two value is of one is equal to x two value three and a half hours. Okay. So three all one by two into y one. We have to be find that is Y1 is the how much you are having today? X2 you have to be find it now. That is X2. Yes. So then will become says 140 is equal to so, 3 and 1 will become the how much you should take it today? So 2 3 the 6 plus 1 7 by 2 into X2. Yes or no, children? So then 7 by 2 by sending here it will become says 140 into 2 by 7 is equal to X2. Yes, sir. Right? So then it becomes is two one z two sorry seven one z seven two z zero. Yes. So then it becomes a twenty two z forty is equal to x two. Means is that within the one hour, how much sir distance he can be move means is forty kilometers he can move. Okay. So therefore he can travel. He can travel. In one hour, how many kilometers is it? Forty kilometers. Is that understood? Is that understood now? Is that we are going for the another problem now? Yes. So what does it mean? Is one sort of absurd is a question is, and the hard to understand that right? is a school has enough food for the two hundred children. Okay. Yes. So nowadays, when there is a government school, is there there are enough food for the children now? Yes or no, children? That is the middle means. Yes or no? So then, for the day, two hundred children should have to stay for six days. 
okay yes so then how long will the food last for the 40 more children means is a here is a we are having the only 200 children yes so more is the 40 students are joining in the days yes means is a 200 days so 200 children for the day 6 days means is if you will be joined that is a 40 students for the day 200 means is 200 plus 40 will become so 240 children the food will become for the day how many days means is See that is one children, 200 uh, children is uh, for the 6 days means is, if they join the more students will become six. the days will become six. decrease or the increase children, in decrease only, yes or no children, it will become six. decrease, means is, when the children will become six increasing, days are going to be the decreasing, yes or no children, so then will become six. this situation is belongs to the, which type of the variation children, it is indirect, variation yes, so then based on that is how do we find that is how long days will become yes so for that the solution will become says yes so now that is a children and the days so children will become says x i am taking now and days will become says y i am taking this okay so then based on that yeah, children is the first is we are having the 200 now that is x1 and uh, how many days is the coming children that is 6 days that is y1 yes so then after says more the 40 children are the joining now yes or no children so that is 200 plus 40 will become 6 240 children that is will become 6 x2 then we have to define that is how long days means is how many days will be get that will become 6 y2 yes or no children so it is question mark Yes or no children? So then therefore the children and the uh, yes, children and days are which type of inverse of children? That is inverse variation or inverse proportion. Yes. So when you are ready as an inverse proportion. Yes. So what is the formula for the children? That is x1 y1 is equals to x2 y2 yes so we have to be substitute the values in the things yes so then x1 value 200 into y1 value 6 is equals to x2 value x2 value is how much is like 240 yes into y2 is question mark yes so then based on the 200 is 240 how do we say this say now 200 into 6 divided by 240 is equal to y2 ok so then based on that here 0 and 0 will become the cancel now 6 1 z 6 4 z yes so then 4 1 z 4 5 z yes so then how much are we in the line that is y2 is equal to 5 means is a how many days will be get means is s yes, so only 5 days will be get i hope you are all understand about this concept regarding this class if you are having any doubt please contact to me and what we are sending the homework and the classwork must you have to be complete within the time and send through whatsapp to me thank you jay sri